We have Rosh Hashanah coming up Wednesday night. So, you know, it says in the Talmud uh, something uh, important that Simana Miltahi. What does that mean? That the way you start off the year, you know, the whole year will go like this. You know, Simana Miltahi. The way you start it off, you have to start with the right foot, you know, the right way, not the wrong way. When you start the wrong way, it goes all the way wrong. You know, that's no good, right? You got to start the right way. So, what's the right way to do it? So it says right in the uh, Gemara that we should eat certain foods, you know, we call them the simanim. So these simanim are good siman, they're a good sign for the Jewish people, for us, you know. Uh, so therefore we eat these foods. There's, there are, there's actually two Gemara that speak about this. One Gemara says you should have these foods on the table, you know. And the other one says also you should eat them. So at least, you know, if you don't like to eat them, at least have them on the table. But really the minhag is to also we eat them also, you know, that's the, that's the custom, right? You know, we, we eat them in simanim. So uh, let's just go through, right, uh, each siman, and we'll, this way we'll know what to do, right? Because you got to get everything ready, you know? Tell your wife, you know, to cook these things, to make them, you know? Because if you wait till the last minute, there's no time, you know? You're rushing, right? So you got to make sure you got all these things. So let's go through it. First of all, I want to tell you, right, that when we make Kiddush, we mentioned last time, we make Shechianu, you know, because of Rosh Hashanah. What about the second night? So the second night, the truth is, you know, they say that it's good to bring something new, you know, Beged Hadash, if you have, like, say, a new suit or something or a new fruit, you know, to make the Sheikh Yano on the new fruit, on the new suit. But if you don't have new fruit or new suit or whatever it is, so you can make Sheikh Yano anyway, because, you know, it's, it's Chag Rosh Hashanah anyway. So you have to make anyway. So if you don't have, you make anyway. But it's good to bring, you know, something, because this way we're sure, you know, that you're making the bracha for some purpose, you know, there. Because the second, the truth is, right, the Chazal say that Rosh Hashanah, the two days of Rosh Hashanah, it's like one long day, you know, Yom Arichta. Right? It's like this, you know? So, therefore, that's why we prefer to have something new there. But if not, it's okay. Anyway, so let's get started here, right? <laughs> so after we make the Kiddush, we start, we go, we do know Nitzilat Yadayim, right away. You know? And then we make Hamotzi. We make, we eat a Kazait mm-hmm. of bread, right? Whatever it is. And uh, then we start with the Simanim. So, here we go, right? First one is Tamarim, right? Uh, dates. This is the first thing that we eat. And we make on this Bracha, right? Bore Priha Etz on the Tamarim. And this is going to be Yotze, Yedeh Choba, right? All the things that we're going to eat Haetz during the meal. This is going to bring all of them. So don't say Haetz twice, you know, for each food. You know, Haetz, Haetz, Haetz. No, no. One time is enough for the whole meal, right? One time, exactly, right? That's the thing, you know? So you make Bore Priha Etz. Now, what you do is, right, after you make the Bore Priha Etz on the Tamar, on the, on, the, on the Tamarim, you have to taste it a little bit, you know, because you cannot. In the, in the middle of, you know, when you make a bracha, you have to taste it right away. And then we make yiratzon, right? After we taste it, because you cannot make yiratzon before you taste it. Have sick. It's like interruption, you know? So what's the yiratzon? Yiratzon milifanecha Adonai Eloheinu ve'elohev otenu she'itamu o'evenu ve'sonenu ve'chol mevakshir a'atenu. This is the... The end of the honey. Look at your sidu, right? Yeah. yeah. We don't dip the uh, tamar in the honey. Tamar is honey. It is honey, the, it's already honey, <laughs> you know. The apple we dip in the honey, right? The apple, the, 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 the tapuach. That's something else. <laughs> right, the vas, right, exactly. Okay, so that's the way we do it, right? That's the first one. Number two, right? Uh, uh, then we do silka, right? So here, you know, the truth is that there's different in Hagim. What is silka? You know, the Ashkenazim, they use beets, you know, for silka. Because in Hebrew, right, uh, the, word, the word selek, you know, means beets, you know, selek. So silka, silka, selek. But the truth is, you know, Maran used to tell us all the time, and, and all the way it's written also in the Mefarshim, the Rabbi al used to tell us that really in the Talmud, silka is not beets. The mistake, not correct, right? So what is silka in the Talmud? Silka means spinach. Tered, right, tered. That's what we call today in Hebrew, right? So the proper thing to buy... The Ashkenazim, they buy, they buy beets, you know? But our custom, I mean, had the more correct way is to, to buy spinach. Yeah, and you know, you can cook it or, you know, you can cook it a little bit or make it, put it in a salad. You know, it's all good, right? Everything is good. There's many ways to eat spinach. And it's healthy also, right? You know, makes you strong, right, Popeye? You know, it makes you strong, like Popeye. So it's good, you know, it's good. It makes you strong. It's a good siman. So the real, the real silka is, as we said, right, spinach, not beets. But if you don't have, uh, if you don't have uh, spinach... You can use beets, you know, because uh, it's also good, you know, it's also like, not bad, you know. But try to get spinach if you can. That's the, that's the better way. Okay, right, that's good. So, do we make a blessing on the, on, on the spinach? No, no blessing, right? Because it's a part of the meal, you know, it's like a salad, you know, salat, you know. You make a blessing, you make a bracha on a salat in a meal, 
No, we don't make, right? Borei pi adama? No, we don't make. So here also, we don't make on the silka, right? There's no, there's no blessing there. No bracha, right? And we say yiratzon, right? What's yiratzon? Yiratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu v'Rabotenu sheistalku ayvenu v'sonenu v'chom v'vakshir atenu. This is the one we say for the silka, right? That means that our enemy should be banished, right? Taken away, you know, like right? Nasrallah uh, imachshemov and all his friends over there, right? They all istalku. They all got taken away. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. We have to thank Agadosh Baruch Hu. <laughs> they took away our our enemies, right? All his friends over there, Nasrallah and his friends. I think also Sinwar now is coming, is going to be next, you know? Sinwar, he's, he's going to be next. He's, they say he's already, you know, sick, you know, wounded, you know? He's already wounded. He's going to go, Hashem. Maybe he's going to be before Rosh Hashanah, maybe after Rosh Hashanah. But he's going to, also, he's going to, he's finished. He's, Gamar, Gamar, Gamar. So that's the way we're going to say, right? Um, yeah, he's finished. Okay. So, right, uh, next one. Uh, after we do Silka, is Karti, Karti, right? What's Karti, right? So, Kati, uh, you know what this is? It's, it's called in English leeks. Leeks. You know what's leeks? Leek, leek. So, you know, like a green onion, right? Green onion. You know the green onion that we eat, right? So, this is like a thick one, you know? Thick. Ave, ave. You know? This is the one, right? Right. Leeks. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is, the, real, this is the real one, you know? So, uh, Capusto is not the real one. This is like, you know, a replacement, you know? Ex- excuse. Yeah, it's good, you know? If, you, if, you, if your wife knows how to cook it, she'll make it really nice for you, you know? But you can also eat it raw. You can eat it like in a salad, you know, the, the, the white part. You can put it in a salad. So if you, if you didn't get a chance to cook it, it's okay. You can still eat it. No problem. Right? It's not so sharp. You know, it's not so kharif. So you can have yeah, in the salad. <laughs> okay. Nice. I like that idea. Okay. So what do we say, right? We also the same thing, right? That our enemy should be cut off, right? Imakshemam, all of them, right? In the north, in the south, right? And then we're going to go to, in the east, you know, Iran, all right? Next one, next, next stop, right? Tachanava. It's going to be over there, right? <laughs> all of them are going to be cut off, Bess of Hashem. Okay, very good. So that, then, what's the next one? Next one is Kara, right? What's Kara? Pumpkin, right? Pumpkin or squash. One or the other, right? You can have either one. They're, well, they're both called Kara in, uh, in Lashon HaKodesh, you know? So this is the one we have, right? Uh, Kara. Uh, so also, and all these vegetables that we that I mentioned here over here, we don't make blessing on any of them because it's like a part of the meal, you know, yeah, it's like an right. appetizer, you know, a delicatessen, you know, like a, so we don't make a bracha on any of these vegetables, nothing, no hadama, no nothing, right? So yeah, what what do we say here at some on the pumpkin? I'm sorry, yeah, something. Yeah. So we say here at some. Why have to say on the date? Yeah, we say You know why? Because ha'etz it dates. Doesn't go with the meal, you know. It's not a part of the meal. It's like a dessert. You know what I mean? It's not the same thing, you know. But salad goes with the meal, right? But did you ever see somebody, you know, he has a, a meal, you know, with with dates, you know? What I mean, bread with dates. And nobody nobody eats like a meal like that. It's like a dessert. This is the reason why we don't bless on it. It's true. It's true. You're right. What you're saying. But since it's not really a part of the meal, you know, as I said, you know, nobody eats bread with dates. It doesn't accompany the meal. This is the reason why we don't bless on that. Yeah. Yeah. Bring banana, right. So like, banana is, is really a fruit, you know, whatever, but we make kadaman, so right? It's yeah. fine? I don't know. Like, yeah. uh, but it's fine, you know, there's no reason to, to, you know, to, to, to do this humrot, you know what I mean? This is a minhag, you know, we don't bless on these things. It's a minhag, you know. Uh, there's no reason to look for, you know, new ways to do things, you know what I mean? Eh, it's, you know, right? Kalashimi karobao, you know, we don't have to do these new, new, new things, right? Whatever. Okay, so that's, that's kara, right? Um, so what's the yiratzon? Yiratzon milfanecha Adonai Elohim Lord Avotenu sheikara roa gezer binenu vikaru lefanecha zechuyotenu. That's the kara. Okay, that's the pumpkin. Now next one is right uh, rubia, lubia, right? Lobio, lobio, right? So <laughs> so which one are we using? Right? There's different types of lobio. You know, there's red. There's uh, you know, there's dark. You know, there's brown, purple. I don't know, all kinds. Of, but now we don't use that. What do we use? Right, the white one, you know, the white. Like that, yeah. It has like a black dot, you know. So in English, we call this black eyed peas. You know, this is like a this is the name for it, you know. So make sure when you order it, right, you get the right name. You know, don't get the wrong one. Don't buy just the white one, which has no has no black. That's not the real one, right? That's like navy beans. You know, we call that, right? It has to have a little black spot on there. Black eye, you know, black eye, you know, like ein shachor. You know, that's that's the rubia, rubia, right? That's the one. So here's the thing, right? When you make. Yeah. 
Right, Chorni, Chorni. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So it's very cheap, Baruch Hashem. You know, it costs a few, a couple of pennies. You know what I mean? Nothing. You buy in the store. You know, you can make a big pot like this. You know, this comes right. But you know, with the black eyed peas, with the rubia, you have to know one thing, right? You have to, you have to cook this for a long time. You know, it doesn't cook like in a half hour. You know what I mean? You got it for a few hours, a few hours. You know, otherwise it won't get soft. It's gonna be hard like a rock. You know, you're gonna eat it. It's gonna well, too hard. You know, so you gotta make sure you cook it good. Few hours, several hours, you know. The women, some ladies know how to cook this, you know, with nicely, with some tomato sauce, you know, some onions, all kinds of things, you know, make, make, they make it nice, you know. Good, good flavor. Some pepper, right? All kinds of good stuff there, right? So it comes out nice, you know. It's a nice, it's a nice delicatess. Okay, so what do we say for that one? For right here, that's on, Milfanaka, Adonai Eloheno Levotenu, Shirbu Zachyotenu, Utra Bebenu. That's how we say, right? We should have many Zchuyot, right? Rubia. Rubia means Arbe, you know, like a lot, you know, a lot of Zachut. Right, we should have a lot of zakut. That's the rubia. Okay, good. So we're going on here. Right, let's go on. I'm sorry. I don't know. This I never heard. I never heard this one. You know, you're making a chidush over here. A little chidush. <laughs> okay, that's good. You know, why not? <laughs> okay, I never heard of that one. Okay, right. So, <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> right, uh, next one is what? A rimon, right, pomegranate, right, pomegranate. So make sure, you know, you buy two of them and go to the know. store, right? You buy it early. I, I tell you one, I'll tell you something really funny, you know? One time, I forgot to buy rimon, you know, uh, before Rosh Hashanah. I forgot, you know? You forgot. And then I went the last day before Rosh Hashanah, you know? I went to the store, you know? I went to Romanov. I, nobody has finished. Everybody finished. You know, <laughs> nothing, right? So then I went to this store, I went to that store, I'm running over here, running over there. Make sure you get it early, you know, because they finish, you know, like they, they, they sell, sell them out like crazy, you know. So in the end, Baruch Hashem, I went, I, after I went to like 10 stores, I found one, you know, in, in one store. A Goyesha store, you know, Goyim, you know, Goyesha supermarket, you know, food town, right over here, right? I found it over there, you know, can you imagine? So that's why you got to make sure you get it early, you know. And also I'll tell you, just good advice, you know, between me and you, right? Get the Israeli one if you can. You know why? Because it tastes much better. You know, the American one has no taste. You know, chala, chala. Yeah, you know? Really Nothing. Really no taste. Good. You know. So yeah, it's not, not not really so good. You know. So if you get the Israeli one, you have some Israeli ones. Oh, there you go. Right. That's all we need. We have. We need some Israeli. Yes, no magazine. <laughs> right. That's all we need. So that you buy Rimon, right? And uh, what's the what's the? Uh, and also, we don't bless on Rimon. Why? Because we already blessed on the dates, right? So we don't do two blessings, right? No, no, we don't need it. No blessing, right? So you just, you, 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 you say Yeratzon. What's Yeratzon? Yeratzon, we should have lots of mitzvot karimon. It says in the Talmud about this, you know, that the uh, Baruch Hu tells Am Yisrael, you know, that even the, the most simple Jews, you know, uh, amongst us, you know, they don't know much Torah, they don't know much Chokhmah, but they're, they're full of mitzvot like karimon, you know, they have lots of mitzvot anyway, you know, even the simple Jews, you know, so that's Baruch Hashem. It's a praise for the Jewish people, you know? We're, we're full of mitzvot. Even the simple Jews who don't know much, you know? They, they don't keep much. They don't really do much. But anyway, right? They're doing mitzvot all the time, every day, right? Chesed, all kinds of things, you know? They're doing, they're full of mitzvot. Baruch Hashem, Ishtabach Shemo. So that's the thing, right? So that's the Rimon. Okay, very good. So now, right? This one, you have to, have to we have to right, tell you what to do here. Rosh Keves, right? So we have the, the head of the Keves, right? Of the lamb. Right, that's the thing, you know? Oh, good. Okay, so that's the thing, right? So. He's explaining to you what it is, right? So this, this one, you know, you have to also get it early. Because if you go late, you know, you're not going to find it. The store is going to be sold out. So make sure you get it nice and early. You know, don't wait till the last minute. I mean, they have it. Baruch Hashem, now they know, you know. Even the Ashkenazim, the store, Ashkenazi stores, they have it now. You know, they, they, they carry it already. Because they know, you know, the Bukharians are going to come, you know, the Swadim, they're going to come and they're going to buy, right? So they have it. They have it. Yeah. Let's is not going to find out there. Mechila? What we're going to put it? Not, I'll not. tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah, Mechila. Yeah, so that's the way it is, you know? So Rosh Keves is the best one, right? But if you don't have Rosh Keves, you can't find it, right? They all sold out. That's Everybody sold out. out. So what do you do? Get Rosh of a chicken or Rosh of a dog, you know, of a fish, you know? Fish. This is right. This is, this, this is not the best one, but 
Why is it not the best one, by the way? Only, only the, 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 the Keves is the best one. You know why? Because this reminds HaKadosh Baruch Hu of the El of Yitzhak Avinu, you know? Yeah, that he was yeah, yeah. Akedat Yitzhak. So this, is the re- this is the reason why, right? You want to you wanna get the, uh, the Keves. You don't want to get the, uh, the, the fish or the, or the chicken. That's not the same thing. It's not the same yeah, level. That's right. You understand? No chicken. You know, yeah, no chicken. <laughs> no chicken. Okay. Right? So, so if you have right, Keves... Then you're gonna say, right, that Hashem should remember, right? Elosha Litzchak Avinu, right? Um, so, but his care lanu, right? Uh, but his call lanu akedato shel shel the Elosha Litzchak Avinu. That's what we say, right? But if you don't have keves, that like, you cannot say this, you know. So, what are we gonna say then? We should say, right, that we should be la rosh velo la zanav. Yira tzon, right? Milu fanecha adonai elohim ulehem odu shenihe velo rosh velo zanav zera zanav. We can say that, but we cannot say, right, keves. Of Yitzchak Kavino, right. this is not Kevis. So you eating fish, you know. Fish is not Kevis. Not the right. same thing, right? So make sure you get the right one, and you also have to cook it a little bit, right? Of course, you know. What are you gonna eat it raw? You know what I mean? What uh, you have to cook? So, so your wife has to, you know, make sure, you know, to cook it a little bit, you know, for an hour, or whatever. Make sure it's nice, you know, nice and good, tasty, right? All right, okay. That's that's the, what's what we do over there. So this is a good one, you know why? Because what are we saying, Takdosh Baruch We're saying we should be Rosh, you know? We should be on the top, you know? And we should be the leaders. We should be, you know, the Manhig, right? The, the people who are, who are controlling everything, you know, and, and ruling the ru- rulers in the world. You know, that's, that's the very, to be Rosh, you know? We don't want to be Zanav, you know, the tail. We don't want to be like that. That's what we're saying, Takdosh Baruch So we should make us the Rosh. The Am Yisrael should be always the Rosh, Bishat Hashem. And all their enemies should be Zanab, you know, down, you know, like, like uh, that's the way it should be. That's the way, that's the way it should be. Yeah, of course, yeah. So then the last one, right, is Tapuach, right, as you said, right, we dip it in honey. We put the, the, the by the way, there is, you know, this, you know probably, right, this guy, he, you know, our friend Yonatan, he reads Benishchai, you know, he likes Benishchai. So Benishchai says, right, that when you take the apple, you shouldn't use Devash, you know, you should use sugar, he says. You ever, you ever seen this before? Yeah. 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 Right. So why is why is that? Right. <laughs> so Ben Ishai says the reason why you shouldn't use the vash is because it's dinim. You know din, right? It has minat din. You know, it's the judgment. So we don't want to invoke the mid of judgment on Rosh Hashanah. So he says therefore you sugar. You know, but really the custom minhag is not like that. Like the Ishai. Right? The minhag is that everybody uses the vash, you know, everybody uses honey. That's the way it is, you know? Yeah. Okay, I mean, we don't do everything like the Benishai. You're not going to do it bad, come on, huh? We cannot do everything like the Benishai. Okay, do it. That's the way it goes. So we use, right, we take the devash, right? We take the apple and the devash, we dip it into the vash, right? No ha'etz on this, right? Because we already made on the, on the yeah, tamar. No ha'etz. Only one yeah, ha'etz, that's it. Oh. Right? And what do we say? We should have a nice, good and sweet year. That's what we say, right? So once we, <laughs> once we do this, right, we finish the Simanim, now we're ready to go to the Seuda, right? So we have, you know, some nice fish, some nice, uh, right, meat, right, basar. They say, by the way, what kind of meat should you have on Rosh Hashanah? Fatty, you know, shaman, like something fat, you know, a little wife. Because it should be a nice fat year, you know, good panasa, good shefa, all these good things, right? It should be a nice fat year, you know? So get some fatty meat, nice, good, good stuff, you know, good quality, right? Not the skinny meat, you know, the, the lean meat. We don't want that, right? That's not, that's not what it should be. And also, right, you know, one of our friends asked us over here, what about the seuda? You know, uh, what should you eat for the seuda for Rosh Hashanah? So the truth is, you know, that the custom is the minhag is they eat. We eat more sweet things, you know, like not so much chamutz, you know, sour and harif, you know, uh, you know, sharp stuff. We don't eat so much that. But the custom is like this, you know, why? Because we should have a sweet New Year. There should be nothing sour, you know, and harif, you know, bad, you know, like this, like, it's something like this, right? So the custom is, you know, by many people. That they eat, you know, sweet. Uh, everything is like a little bit more sweet. The meat is a little bit more sweet. Everything is a little bit more sweet, you know. Nothing sour there. Nothing kharif. Nothing too sharp. Nothing too pungent, right? So uh, that's the way it should be, you know. But it, somebody asked me, you know, if I like to eat, let's say, he likes to eat, you know, some hamutzim, some pickles, you know, olives, you know, things like this, right? A little bit hamutz. Is he, is he allowed to eat that? So the answer is yes. If you like it, you know, you can eat it, you know, whatever. There's no isu. There's no prohibition. Yeah, so there, there are some say also that grape is dinim also dinim. You know, that's why, dinim. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why. So some people avoid eating grapes, all kinds of things like that. But that's what I said, I mean, hagim, there's different mean hagim, you know, like this and that. Baruch Adonai Amen.